Right, hi guys, this is Andy, um, otherwise known as Nicky Dude, on the World Works Games forums. And in this series of videos, hopefully, I'm going to show you how to put together um, some gaming terrain. Specifically, um, Halls of the Dwarven King by World Works Games. Okay, and in this section of the video, the first thing I want to show you is equipment what you'll need the first thing I'd say you'd need is a cutting board or some something that you can cut on and um, so you're not marking your table because your wife or your you know or your mother if you live with your mother is not going to be too pleased with the gouge marks on your table so a nice cutting board and um, this is a4 size you can get them a2 which is twice the size um, or maybe uh, just a, a cutting board from the kitchen or a bit of wood that you can lay over the top something that you're not afraid to cut into when you're cutting through your card okay the next thing I'd say would be a craft knife a cutting knife and um, sometimes here in the UK these are called Stanley knives and I think over there uh, in the US I think they're called exacto knives perhaps something like that um, but anyway a nice good craft knife now I've had this for some time I don't know if you can see I'll show you see if I can get a close-up here of all the rust that's on okay it's extremely rusty but it's extremely sharp and if you can I'd suggest now if I, if I can get this right up can you see the diagonal grooves across the blade going across well you can snap these off when the blade gets dull because when you cut you're only cutting oops you're only cutting with the usually that part of the blade when it gets dull you can get a pair of pliers and just snap that part off and it'll snap it off where the groove is yeah so you get a pair of pliers you'll snap it off then you'll just push out the next bit so you can keep using this knife well for quite some time and you don't have to keep sharpening it or anything like that but a nice sharp craft knife um, I can get a, I think I can get eight of these for about a pound over here in the UK um, but as long as it's sharp and something you can use over and over again yep so there's a craft knife next a nice straight edge now I'm using a metal ruler and um, you can use any straight edge really uh, but I advise you to use something metallic um, because if you're using a plastic ruler uh, I don't think I've got mine handy uh, I used to use a plastic ruler no I can't find it but what will happen is as you as you're cutting as you're cutting along you'll find that you'll take little nicks out little gouges out as you're going across okay and now I don't know if you can see on the ruler there all the scratch marks now on the plastic ruler I was taking little nicks out and the edge wasn't straight anymore it was it was all wobbly wibbly so I splashed out for a metal ruler and it works perfectly for cutting straight edges that's fantastic um, the next thing I'd say you'd need uh, that holds the whole lot together is glue now this is the glue I have and I advise you to get a glue stick okay Try not to get one that you can spread, like PVC white glue, for example, or um, any other glue where you can actually spread it, spread it about. Because even though I haven't used it myself, any water-based glue, it's on the forums. The people say that the water-based glue tends to shrink, so you want to be careful because it'll warp. It'll start warping. You know, it start buckling and warping your walls and various things so I would advise you to get a glue stick okay yeah nice tacky glue stick now this works perfectly Bostic edge um, I found this in the shop this cost me a pound again um, <laughs> and once I found out that it worked I bought the well the entire shop's worth there was about six or seven of these left and I kept going in and buying them and they were looking at me funny why are you buying all these glue so then I had to get my friends to go in and buy them and I got about six or seven of these sticks uh, and I've used them all apart from this one this is the only one I have left 
and unfortunately the shop I went in doesn't sell them anymore and I can't even find them on the bloody internet uh, I've even went to the Bostic's own site Bostic and they don't sell them anymore so if anyone can find them um, a nice comment if you put it in there to tell me exactly where they are but if you, if you see them I advise you to get this because this is fantastic you glow yep so a nice stick pretty stick I'll do the same thing um, but try and keep away from the, the glue that you spread you know with a with a brush or that sort of thing or you can spread around with your fingers but a nice glue um, next things you need are a felt tip marker now this a nice sharp felt tip marker is for edging which I will go over in a in another session in another video um, but black a black felt tip a black marker or anything like that that's fine because you'll start edging all your models to make them look better you can get various colors blue this is a disc writing pen well this is a permanent marker this is an actual disc writing pen but it doesn't matter as long as it's blue and it's felt tippy that's fine another color you might want is brown now this is a kids felt tip okay you can get you can get about a, a packet of different colored felt tips um, other colours you might want are red, um, yellow, um, phew, I don't know. But these are the three that you'll probably need the most to do the edging. Um, and there you have it for equipment. A nice cutting board, something to cut on. A nice straight edge, metal ruler. A nice craft knife, nice and sharp. You know, preferably one where you can snap the blade off to get to the next sharp bits all the way down. Um, a nice glue. Uh, a stick glow, not a spreadable glow, because um, the water content, at least one where there's like next to no water content in it, them are the best. And a series of pens that you can do, that you can have, to edge your models when you've built them. Okay, so now I've got all my equipment ready, um, I'm going to set to at printing off my terrain and I will do that in the next session for you. So until then, um, I shall see you later. Okay, bye.